Okay, good morning everyone. This morning, we're going to discuss another topic for our asynchronous class. Represents real-life situations using rational function. But before we will start our discussion, at the end of this lesson, you are expected to, number one, represent real-life situations using rational functions. And number two, distinguishes a rational function Rational equation and rational inequality. Okay, let's start. Admission card. The following are the skills and competencies you should possess before proceeding to this lesson. Read and assess yourself whether agree or disagree. For number one, I can represent real-life situations using function, agree or disagree. Number two, I can recognize polynomial functions, agree or disagree. If you agreed to both statements, then you are ready to this lesson. If not, have a quick review of our previous lesson. Let us do the next activity and reflect if you are confident enough to proceed and have your pen and paper ready. Problem number one. <clears throat> a commuter pays 20 pesos for a tricycle ride for the first 5 kilometer and an additional of 0 0.75 for every succeeding distance in kilometer. Represent the situation as function. Okay. The answer is f of d is equal to 20. If D is greater than 0 or less than and equal to 5. Another function. D, F of D is equal to 20 plus 0 0.75 times D if D is greater than 5. <clears throat> Problem number 2. Write a function C that represent the cost of buying alcohol if an alcohol costs 155 pesos. The answer is C of A is equal to 155 A. If how much or how many bottles of alcohol that will be multiplied by 155. So that is the function of that problem number 2. Okay, take a note of this. Polynomial f of x is equal to 3. The degree is 0 and the special name is constant function. f of x is equal to negative 2x plus 1. Degree is 1 and special name is linear function. f of x equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 2, the degree is 2, and the special name is quadratic function. f of x equals 4x cubed minus 2x minus 7, the degree is 3, and the special name is the cubic function. So these are the different polynomials with the different degrees and special name. Okay, love in times of COVID. Read and analyze this story. The barangay captain says to our honorable counselors, one of the problems that we are facing is how to provide the relief goods to our kabarangays. I just confirm that Mr. Martin will donate 35,000 pesos. Mr. Villardo made a pledge of 60,000 pesos. Our barangay has a budget amounting to 347,000. We have approximately 850 families. So the total donations is, is 400 twenty two thousand and it will be divided equally 
to 850 families. So how much will be the budget per family for the relief goods? Kagawad. Each family will receive goods that cost 520 pesos. We can buy rice, canned goods, chicken, and hygiene kit. Now, the 520 pesos came from the total amount donated and the budget that is 442,000 divided by 800 families approximately and that is 520 pesos. But the number of families is just an approximation. We must consider those who transferred residency and those who were stranded. Yes, you're right. We must do an actual survey to find out that the number of families residing in our barangay. The budget that we are talking about is only good for one week. We must find other resources. We should encourage our barangays who have the capacity to help. May it be in cash or kind. What we need to do is to help each other. Yes, Cap, we support your idea. That was the conversation of the personnel in the barangay who are facing the COVID-19 pandemic and they wanted to give relief goods to their constituents. Let's answer the following questions. How much is the total amount of money the barangay can use for its relief operations? The total is 442,000 pesos from the budget and the donation of the two individuals. What is the concern of the Barangay Kagawad regarding the total number of families who will benefit with the relief? Do you think it is valid? Yes. The concern of the Kagawad is the total actual number of beneficiaries, including those who were stranded and including those who transferred residency. Because the 850 that was given a while ago was just an approximation. Now, it is valid because that number of beneficiaries, if we can get the actual, we can exactly divide the budget into how many persons include. Question number three. Suppose the officials conducted a survey for four days to determine the actual number of families residing in the barangay and the secretary conducted a table to keep track of the data. Complete the table. Okay, let's complete the table. For day one, number of families is 850 and that is the approximation. Amount of relief each family will receive 520. From 442,000 budget divided by 850, that is 500. 20. For day 1, number of families is 855. This is according to the survey. Amount of relief each family will receive 516.96 if the actual survey is 855. How about in day 2? The 855 were added. It becomes 882 for day 2. And that is the actual number of families according to the survey in day 2. The amount of relief each family will receive is 501.13. Next is day 3. Number of families surveyed is 910. And the amount of relief each family will receive is 485.71. Okay, how about day 4? Number of families is 931. Increases from 910 in the last day 3. The amount of relief each family will receive is 474 pesos and 76 centavos. So what have you observed? From day 1 to day 4, 
the number of families increases according to the survey but the amount of relief each family will receive is decreasing number four create a model or equation that will represent to the amount of relief each family will receive bearing in mind that the number of families will vary answer f of x is equal to 442,000 over x or divided by x and that is the number of families number five after resolving the amount of relief each family may receive what other problem may arise in the current situation so most probably uh, another problem is how to deliver, how to distribute the relief goods to each family. Like what happened in our barangay or what happened in the other barangays. Diba? Yung, yung malapit sa, sa barangay, yun lang ang mabibigyan ng relief good. So that is one problem that might arise in that current situation. I hope that the barangay captain or the officials can manage properly about the distribution of the relief goods number six if you are one of the residents of the barangay what will be your participation to help the officials okay i think if you have the guts to help in the distribution why not but need to observe the protocol of the eitf that we need to undergo or we need to have the social distancing we need to have the mask and the face shield so that we will be protected of that COVID-19 virus okay what is it representing real life situation using rational function a rational function r of x is a function in the form of r of x equals p of x over x q of x where p of x and q, q of x are polynomial function and q of x is not equal to zero the domain of r of x is a set of real numbers such that q of x is not zero so this is the agreement the q of x is not zero Example of rational function. R of x is equal to 3, 3 cubed minus 1 all over x plus 2. x is not equal to negative 1. Both numerator and the denominator are polynomial functions. Denominator has restriction because it should not be equal to 0. Example of rational function r of x is equal to 1 over x where x is not equal to 0 the numerator 1 is a polynomial function with a degree of 0 denominator is a polynomial function and it must not be equal to 0 okay let us have the following examples the LGU Kawit allotted a budget of 100,000 pesos for the feeding program in the daycare center of Barangay Gaha. The amount will be divided equally to all the pupils in the daycare center. Write an equation showing the relationship of the allotted amount per pupil represented by f of x versus the total number of children or x okay let's try data in table number of children is 10 allotted amount per child is 10,000 because there are 100,000 if there are 10 children so each child will receive or ha have an allotted of 10,000 pesos number of children or x is 20 the allotted amount is 5,000. 50, 2,000. 100 is 1,000. And for 200 number of children or X, the allotted amount per child is only 500 pesos. Hence, we will arrive at this function. F of X is equal to 1,000 
divided by or over x. Number two, suppose a benefactor wants to supplement the budget allotted for each child by donating additional 650 pesos per child. If h of x represents the new amount allotted per child, construct a function representing the relationship. Okay. Table in data. <clears throat> if the number of child or children is 10, the allotted amount is 1,000 plus 650, so that is 1,650. For 20 number of children, 5,000 is allotted plus 650, that is 5,650. For 50 children, 2,000 plus 650. For 100, 1,000 plus 650. For 200 number of children, 500 each plus 650. Hence, we will arrive at h of x is equal to 100,000 divided by x plus 650. Number 3. A car is to travel a distance of 70 km. Express the velocity as a function of travel time in hours. So we have the data. There, here is the table. Time of hour is 1, 70, 2 hours, 35, 3 hours, 23.33, 5 hours is 14, and 10 hours is 7. That is based from the distance of 70 kilometers. Hence, we will derive at the V of P is equal to 70 over time or T. So, depending the number of time, the velocity will be derived. If 5, the velocity per kilo, kilometer per hour is 14. If the time or hour is 10, it is 7. Okay, for more additional activities and for you to answer some exercises, just refer to our Google Classroom. I'll be posting there as soon as possible. That's all and goodbye.